Good morning. We are 9.4 gradient, 535 of your textbook. This is a very interesting or very important topic, so please listen very carefully. Gradient. The other word for gradient is slope. Uh, slope or steepness. And let's go and have a look at what this is all about. The gradient of a line is a measure of how steep the line is. The steepness or slope of a line depends on how far it rises or falls over a given horizontal distance. So here we have the same horizontal distance. We can see that the red line is much steeper than the blue line. And the reason for it is over the same horizontal distance, the blue line rises less than what the red line does. So that is the rise, and so therefore the red line is much steeper. Now, this gradient that we're talking about is the rise over the run. And how do I remember it? Pretty simple. I always look at the sun rise, rise, over the run. So the sun rise over the run. Pretty simple. Remember it. So we can see therefore that the rise is how much does the value change in the y axis divided by how much does it change in the x axis. Now let's have a look. There's four types of gradients. We have a positive gradient. Now to remember positive gradient, and again this is my way, if you can find another way I'm very happy for you. As we read from left to right, so I read from left to right. So as you read from left to right, my line is going up. And therefore it's a positive gradient. As I read from left to right, my gradient is, my line is coming down. So from left to right, the line is coming down. It is a negative gradient. As if there is no rise or no fall, then the gradient is zero. There's no slope. If there's a straight line downwards, the gradient is undefined. You can't ski down that. So the connection, the other connection that I like to make is to look at skiers, somebody that's skiing, hitting the slopes. Um, going from left to right, we slope upwards, so the slope is upwards, so it's positive. Sliding downwards from left to right, it's negative. Then if you cannot ski, if you're going to go to a slope with this slope, you're not going to ski at all. And if you try and ski down this cliff, you're definitely going to end up dead. Right, so positive, negative, zero, and undefined. Okay, let's have a quick look at the first one. We say that the gradient is the rise over the run. So you can go to any point on your graph and move to any other point, and we're going to use just horizontal and vertical movements. So for this one, to get from there to there, you have to rise four, and you have to run two. So the rise from any point to any point is 4 units over 2 units. It will become a little bit clearer once we are doing the questions, the examples. With a negative gradient, to get from any point to another point, I'm going to run down. So the rise is negative 3 and then a positive 2. So it's negative 3 over 2. Gradient is 0 because the rise is 0 and the run is 2. So 0 divided by 2 is 0, and the gradient, if the rise is 2, but there's no run, then I cannot divide by 0, and that is the reason it's undefined. The side of this line is labeled A, B, C, D. On this graph, have a positive, negative, 0, or is it undefined? Okay, so I'm just going to go A. Eh. I'm just going to go A. B, C, D. I'm going to do A first. A. 
So what I'm going to say, my thinking is, as I read from left to right over A, as I read from left to right, A is coming down, therefore A is negative. Okay, B, this, if I, is that a slope? If that is a slope, and I try to ski down it, I am indefinitely going to die. Right, so that is undefined. If I look at C, as I read from left to right, it's going up. From left to right, it's going up. Up is good. So therefore, it is positive. And if I look at D, if this is a slope, and I try and ski that slope, I'm going to basically stand still because there is no slope. Therefore, this is zero. Last example, finding a gradient from a graph. Now, what I have always found is that you, the easiest way usually is to, and I say usually, is to go to where your Right where your line intercepts the y-axis and then choose any other point. However, you can use any point on this graph. What I'm going to try and look for is points which intercepts my lines. I'm going to look for points on this line that intercepts. I can't go there because I can't see what is this value exactly. I can't go there because I don't know what's that value. So I'm going to go where my line intercepts some um, integers. So I can use that point. It doesn't matter which one you use. It doesn't matter which one you use. I can use that point, that point, that point, and I can find the gradient for that. What you need to write down is the following. You're always going to say gradient. Don't write in red. Red is for teachers. Okay, so I'm going to say gradient equals rise over run. Every time you're going to say this. Now, as I said, I'm going to go to the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where it goes to the y-line. And I'm going to say, how do I get from there to there? Okay, so to get from there to there, I am going to run, and that's in the positive direction, so that is plus 2, and then I'm going to rise from there to there, and it rises upwards, and it goes from, it goes from 0, the rise is from 0 to 3, which means this is plus 3 blocks, so my rise will be a rise of 3 over a run of 2. And we know that that equals 1.5, 3 divided by 2. Okay, pretty simple. Um, if we look at B, what, which points can I use? And look, this is pretty nice. You can use this one, this one, this one. You can use any one of those points because the slope is the same everywhere. It doesn't matter where you look. The slope of that line doesn't change. The slope is everywhere the same. And remember what I said. So for the first point, I'm going to start at my y-intercept. There's my y-intercept. My y-intercept is over here. Over here. Can you all see? Over here. And now I'm going to pick any of the other points. Okay, so let's go down from there. And let's say we're going to go to this point over here. Doesn't matter. All of them will work out the same. I'm going to say gradient equals the rise over the run. From there, how do I get from, from point A to point B? Okay, to get from point A to point B, I'm going to come down, which means I'm rising downwards 2. So that is negative 2. And then from there, to get to that point, I'm going to run. And I'm going to run in a positive direction from 0 to 2. So that's also 2. So what is my gradient? My gradient is my rise. I rise negative 2, and then I run in a positive direction, which is positive 2. So my gradient is negative 1, if you simplify that. 
Okay, just to quickly show you, I don't want to make the video too long, but I could use any point on this graph. So if I say I started at this point, let's call that point C. Yeah, it's an ugly C. And I want to go from that point to this point D. It's from C to D. I'll say from there to get to D, I can run in this direction. And from then, I'm going to rise from there to there. So if I run, I'm going to run 1, 2, negative 3, because it's in a negative direction. And then I'm going to rise positive 3. So my rise, the same formula, my rise is positive 3, my run is negative 3, and that will still give us negative 1. So you can see any points will do. Exercise 9D, go have a ball.